So thank you very much. Great to be here today and talk with such an awesome audience about digital transformation at Daimler, how we push that with digital life, and to be more precise about the power of ideation and creative play. But before I jump into details regarding ideation and creative play, I would like to give you a short overview with just one slide here about digital life um, in general. So what is it all about, digital life, for us? Um, is it about strategy? Is it about the vision to be among the leaders in the automotive industry? About technologies like artificial intelligence or blockchain? About processes or digital products? It's about all that, but with the focus on the people, with the focus on the customers, with their needs, with their expectations and their digital life, and with the focus on the employees, with their mindset, their skills, their know-how and their digital life. And what are we working on? We are working on the transformation of the business with the strategy, with the roadmap, with the trends, and we involve the employees as much as possible with the three other hashtags you see there. That's about change, again, mindset and skills. We try to bring collaboration to the next level with social intranet, working out loud, reverse mentoring and other things. And this is the focus of today. We push ideation as much as possible. On the one hand, find new ideas, generate new ideas but on the other hand, also to push implementation afterwards. And as mentioned, this is the focus of today, and we have two different ap approaches to push that. This is the Digital Life Hub, where we involve the employees, and it is the Digital Life Campus, where we work together with students from different universities. Let me start with the Digital Life Hub. To push ideation, we often do events to bring people together with different knowledge, with different background, with, from different departments, and let them work in diverse groups on specific challenges. So, for example, open space events are very good to do that. You do not have to have a specific skill. You just come together and work with other colleagues on ideation topics. Normally, something around 100 colleagues come together. They have, in the beginning, 50 ideas, and at the end of the day, um, they identify 10 specific ideas, which we follow up afterwards. But besides open spaces, we, for example, also do innovation camps using design thinking techniques for two or three days. So all the employees participating in the innovation camps are also trained in design thinking through that approach. And this is, for example, also about interviewing customers or prototyping during these days. We do that not only in Germany, in Europe, we do that also in Asia, in India, in China especially, and also in the US. So for us, it's very important to involve all the employees around the globe. But even if we do many events, still, Many colleagues cannot go to events and workshops. So we started one year ago with a crowd ideation platform, which offers us um, the opportunity to involve really everybody. So every employee can now bring in ideas, can now evaluate the ideas of others, and can fund um, 100 euros normally, um, bring it in to the budget of the other teams. This was more or less the ideation phase of the employees. Of course, afterwards, the implementation is very important. And some of the results you can also see in the House of Tech, um, where um, internal startups present their ideas. The other approach is the Digital Life Campus, where we work together with students all around the globe. So we do series of hackathons, for example, in Silicon Valley, in China, in India, in Germany, wherever around the world, and work with students on specific challenges. We do that ourselves, so colleagues of mine fly all around the world, work together with the students, 
and uh, also during the night, it's a 24-hour hackathon normally, and find great solutions. And so the students have the opportunity to get to know us much better and our challenges in the digital world, and we have the opportunity, of course, to get the students uh, to know the students much better and hopefully also work together afterwards. Also, some of the teams um, still working on their ideas, you can see at the House of Tech. Altogether, we reached something around 500 digital talents, worked together with 500 digital talents in 10 different hackathons in the last one and a half years. <coughs> the Digital Life Campus is then also about implementation. So here you see a picture of the Mobile Web Congress where different teams from all across the globe came together, worked again um, with techniques of creative play and uh, worked on solutions with all the different backgrounds they have. One major hackathon we did was in the heart of the International Auto Show in Frankfurt. Probably many of you know that show. So all the participants you see here and uh, additionally some more worked in the heart of the show for 24 hours um, and uh, presented afterwards in front of a big crowd of visitors in pitches their ideas directly at the show. And uh, what is better than explaining it by myself, of course, it's much better to have a look at a video, a short video, which explains um, what happened during those 24 hours. So let's have a look. Ähm, für mich noch ziemlich fit, noch ein paar Kaffee. Die Assistance has been great. Uh, people come to us asking if we need anything. Um, I really think you have done a wonderful job in here. Man lernt hier gefühlt in 24 Stunden mehr als in einem ganzen Semester. That was the hackathon. Of course, we also used creative play elements in that. But now let's focus a little bit more on creative play and perhaps have a short look at psychology and the different brain halves, the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. And we need both to push ideation at Daimler and to be successful in the digital world. Left side of the brain in charge of rational, of logic, mathematics and so on, and right side of the brain with about emotions, about associations, and all the creativity aspects. On the one hand, we bring in information. On the other hand, we bring in experience, for example. And both have to work together, as mentioned. But in a world which is focused on processes, of course, we tend to rely on the left side of the brain. So Let's have a look at children and what they are doing. They play every day and use the right side of the brain every day and to find with that solutions, innovative solutions for existing problems. So they 
use fantasy, they have no boundaries in their solution and problem solving, um, and this is something we also want to push with our activities. What are we doing? For example, we are um, trying to bring the colleagues in workshops um, with a journey of imagination to an other level of problem solving. So take the existing problem, transfer it to a fantasy world, find a solution there, and bring the solution back to reality. So for example, here we did a um, workshop for digital transformation as a mission to space and found a solution how trans to transfer the existing world to a new digital world. On the other hand, it's important to also um, use techniques like um, interactive dramatic play. We use that to um, also within the open spaces, as here in this example, to pitch at the end of the day um, on stage, like in a theater, and of course, um, all the participants then are much more engaged as they are normally. We have many other ways to use creative play in all the different formats you saw um, up front in the beginning of the presentation, like hackathons and open spaces, InnoCamps, and so on. But as it is always looking at digitalization, collaboration, and all the things I talked about, it's much better not to get it explained, but to experience it by yourself. So we thought it would be a good idea to let you play a little bit and experience the advantages of creative play. And I brought Ludwig with me, that's the creative play ex expert here, and we brought some small packages with us for you. Please find Melanie and Franzi right behind you. And there's our colleague Hauke on the other side. And we've got something prepared for you. And we want you to team up. So even though two. we have brought enough Lego for everybody, by purpose, we want always two of you to team up and do our challenge. And the challenge is find the Lego pieces in the bags, get together in teams of two, and do the highest tower possible teams for the minifigure two. that you will also find in the bag to put that on the very top to oversee all TOA. This is the story behind it. The challenge out to you is do all of that in just two minutes. So once you get the back set, so team and, uh, up. all our colleagues are running around, there's enough for, for everybody. But I'd really like you to get together in teams of two. You will also need to, to be, a, you will also need to be a, a, as two of them because a tower cannot stand, uh, cannot stand uh, alone on your hand. So. One of you will, to ha will have to hold, the other one will have to do uh, the building. But the design of the tower so really lives from the creativity of both of you. And I love to see how noisy it gets already because this is exactly the effect please, that we want to get. Please team up in a team of two, please. Get together in teams of two, grab one bag, hand out the others. If you don't have one, raise your hand. I think we have more than enough in the, in the bags back there. Also, you guys should get involved. I think Hauke is coming around okay. to the ones that are not sitting on the chairs. So each one of you uh, will get some. And then get together. And if, if you're alone, then find another team of two and get together as three. Because you will see that creativity and the playfulness will really, will, ro will really depend on how many people you are. And I really see how people already choose different techniques. And since most of you are already building, I'm going to start the time from now. Okay. Too and much. I see so many different techniques already. Everyone's taking a different approach. The base plate sometimes is on the bottom, but not for everybody. Some will use the, uh, will use the floor as a support. Some others will hold their hands like a stand. Some others will use their knees. Can and you even though, team up or give the back to Even though to all the, the teams here? start with the, same, with the same conditions at the very start, Excuse me, can you, the, thank you. Like, the approach you and the, all the process you're going through. It's so okay. individual. One there. And it's exactly this individuality that we also need to, uh, uh, to, to get right in digital transformation because there is no one right idea or there's no one good idea, but it's actually the sum of all the inspiration that comes from all the different employees. So guys, you're already down one minute down the line. Don't forget to, uh, to also give that minifigure a good a good view from the top of your tower. 
Oh, I see some people using their laptops as the base plate. New approach that I haven't seen. Some are building sideways. Some people I can already see are, are using the big blocks on the bottom, small ones on the top. Some others, the long ones on the top, the small ones on the bottom. Or oh, some would even sort by color. That's a, that's a new one. And it's exactly this effect of bringing people together who might have not even worked together before at all. But with a playful interaction, it's so easy to network and also to get to know the other persons on a different level because play will really unveil, will really unveil uh, yeah, your, your character traits and all the individual approaches that you take. Okay, you're down by five, uh, five seconds already. So, three, two, one. Guys, thanks so much. Give yourselves a hand. And can some of you already oh, hold yeah. up their tower that they have? I see one creation there. Let me oh, see the mini towers. figures on top. This one is quite big here. Guys, oh, the mini figures yeah. got a stick. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like you guys also to think about how all of you started with the exact same conditions at the start, but the outcome is just so different. And also, I don't know how it was for you coming into the room before. I feel the energy level just changed so much while you guys were playing. And I think, uh, I think that's so much needed for digital transformation too. <laughs> awesome design. Love the sideways building. I think I saw some teams even teaming up again to be four people building with a double amount of bricks somewhere over there. Eh? Wow. <laughs> That's a well, it was a good idea. You can take that with you if you want. Thanks. <laughs> good one. All right. Okay, Thanks so much. Another big one here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. Thank you all so much. So I so, think I think you all experienced the play, and Marcus. Uh, why don't you uh, go ahead and use just the last 30 seconds to give some outlook of what else can be experienced at our stage. Yeah. One more. Hey. <laughs> so, thank you very much. It was great to see how you... Oh, which one is higher? Ah, this one. Okay. So now you experience the value of creative play. You get to know other people. You, you worked um, creatively with different solutions coming up. <laughs> and it is as we thought it will be. Um, it will be hard to get you back to the presentation. That's the reason why we did it at the end. Um, we also did that with small children. There it worked out. They went silent again. Yeah. So, thank you very much. That was the presentation, and probably we will not have any time left for Q&A. But uh, Ludwig and me will stand aside, so if you have any questions regarding creative play, um, we will be there. Thank you.